Welcome to the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum. It is summer and there is so much happening here. Being joined by Al. Thanks for having us back, Al. We always love coming here. Well, it's, it's great to have you back at Canadian Warplane Heritage, Emily, and congrats to uh, CH for 70 years. Oh, well, thank you so oh. much. Yeah, we are spending the entire year celebrating. And today, visiting you here, you've got so many new things to tell me about. And, and this is the first day. This is our new digital experience uh, called Making Freedom Fly. We've been working on this for about two or three years now, and today is the first day we've opened it up to the public. So it consists of four uh, sections. We have our immersive dome, mm -hmm. our, have our interactive avatars, mm -hmm. we have our HD cinema, mm -hmm. and augmented reality. So, uh, Okay, this sounds like a lot of fun. It's, it's cutting edge technology. A lot of museums don't have this kind of uh, technology yet, so no. we're, we're ahead of everybody, I think, on this one. That's awesome. I love that Hamilton's ahead of the game. Now, we're going to go into the immersive dome. It worked. <laughs> and we're going to check this out first. Okay, so tell me what we're experiencing here. Sure, absolutely. Let's uh, come on over here. As you can see, there's uh, circles with feet in there with different words. Those mm -hmm. are tied into all the video that you're seeing up on the screen. Wow. And visitors, visitors can put you know, stand in them and trigger each of the videos. Where did the videos come from? These videos, well, they were from our archives. We had 350 uh, 16 millimeter films sitting back there, probably uh -huh. starting to turn to vinegar pretty soon. Collecting a lot of dust. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> so we were able to get them digitized. Um, colorized? Colorized, and uh, we put them into this montage that uh, helps create the, the atmosphere for making freedom fly this, in the wow. river. This is so cool. You've literally brought history to life. Absolutely. And, and some of these videos, I have never seen this footage. There is an incredible like amount never of... never before seen footage? No, no, there's, there's footage here I've never seen anywhere ever before. Wow. That is so remarkable. I could just stare at this for hours, and I bet you so many people are going to be doing that. So when you come in here, how long does kind of the experience take? Uh, for the immersive dome? Mm -hmm. Well, it's probably a couple of minutes in this section here. Again, yeah. today is the first day, so these people are experiencing it for the first time. Right, and you can just stand in here and continue to watch video after video. Absolutely. Wow, and it's got everything from the hospitals to the planes to, you know, women that were working during wartime, and my goodness. And the focus is on the Canadian side of things. Of course. And of course the Air Force. Wow, Hamilton soldiers have made supreme sacrifice. Incredible. Okay, coming up, I'm going to be joined by Emily, and we are actually going to be meeting some of the avatars. It is really cool. You don't want to go anywhere. Stay with us from the Warplane Heritage Museum here in Hamilton. Well, we have made our way to the avatar section of the immersive experience with Emily, and this is super cool and yeah. a little creepy, but I think <laughs> I that's, can what, see that. like, yeah. that's what's intriguing about yes, this area. So sure. talk to us about what's happening here. Yes, so we have interactive avatars in our gallery space now. So we can say, hello, Dennis. They come to life. Wow. And you can have a conversation with them. So this is the founder of the museum, Dennis Bradley. We're not going to stay and chat with him right now. Right. Right. But we could. We could, absolutely. We could. Yes, so as we come through, you can see we have figures from Canadian aviation history. Wow. There's a lot of them. The stories are incredible. This is David Goldberg. He's from Hamilton. Wow. Having Hamilton represented in such a way is excellent. Oh my gosh, it's so authentic and real. It is, it is. That's what I mean by like, it's kind of creepy. Like I feel like he could just walk out of the box <laughs> and be like, hey guys. And that realism is based in reality. So these are real people mm -hmm. who served their country. Some of them we knew here at the museum, which wow. is incredible. We had interviews done as the museum with all of these individuals. They were older. They were talking about their wartime yeah. experience. Oh. So they took these interviews, they digitally de-aged their voices. They're they the real voices. They're the real voices. Oh my yeah. goodness. Our curator Aaron has worked with everyone's families to make sure we had the proper, true, full history of each of these individuals. And we've brought them to life. It's incredible. We did a motion capture with actors to make sure we got, you know, real feeling movements. With yeah, because that's, that's why. Like, it's so 
real. And yeah. while you're walking through this, of course, I mean, there's so many bits of information mm -hmm. and archival bits and pieces yeah. of history yeah. that you can learn while you're walking through this gallery space. We've got the women's division over here, which is so fascinating. Mm -hmm. And speaking of which, yes. here we have Edith. Yes, so this is Edith. Hello, Edith. Hello there. Have a chat. Hi, I'm Edith White. I'm originally from Brampton, Ontario, and grew up as a farm girl. In wartime, I was a riveter and worked at Victory Aircraft Limited. Would wow. you like to learn more about my story? I can tell you about yes. <laughs> oh, she's giving me choices. Yes, so that's the great thing. You can choose what you're interested in and learn from the avatars from that particular thing. So you'll see with Edith, once you talk okay. to her, there's four options. Life on the home front. I was 16. Wow, and then she goes on to tell mm -hmm. you the story. That is so remarkable. And it continues on, yeah. It's I love excellent. how this is like, you know, so good for mm -hmm. kids. Absolutely. Like this is what's Absolutely. gonna draw in that younger yeah. crowd. Yeah, it's a whole new way of learning. Yeah. Right? And you feel engaged, and that's what's totally. so important. I love that. Well, yes. coming up, we are gonna be checking out some of the archives, not open to the public, mm -hmm. on kind of what's behind these avatars. So make sure you stay with us but for now sending things back inside the studio back here at the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum and they're letting us into the vault now this is a very sacred space Aaron is the keeper hi Aaron <laughs> hi Aaron is gonna let us go into the vault to take a look at some of the archives that they actually use to piece together to put those avatars well make them People, essentially. Right. Yes, to create them. Okay. Yes. Let's sneak in okay. here. Look at the vault artifact storage. Oh, it, it feels special already. Yes. It is temperature and light monitored in here, so <gasps> it has that feel already of a vault. Yeah. Um, and we have over 12,000 artifacts here in our collection. Wow. And a uh, selection of them was used to create the avatars that you saw earlier. Okay. Uh, archival material and three-dimensional artifacts. So. Uh, uniforms were used for reference, we used the photographs, um, any kind of paper documents as well. Related Can I walk to their down story. here? Yes, I'll open this up for you and feel free to oh, explore. Oh, so cool. Oh, here's one of the, is this what um, Edith was wearing? That's exactly what we use for Edith, yes. So this is a Victory Aircraft Limited uh, women's coverall and every employee would have used that, they would have been issued that uh, to wear during their work day. Wow, so everything is in here. Yes, um, we have a collection of everything from navigation equipment, uh, hats and goggles, helmets, anything that air crew would have needed to uh, fly the aircraft during the Second World War. Wow, I feel like everything is so much smaller. Like everything looks very petite, like none of this would fit me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were small people back then. Yeah, well we were talking about it earlier and I guess it was kind of before the invention of fast food. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's so true, everybody was yeah. healthier. Wow, okay, so I mean, I'm seeing everything from first aid kits to uh, all the goggles and the masks, survival equipment. Yeah everything here and this is all donated so uh, we don't have an acquisitions budget mm -hmm. everything has been donated wow. by either veterans themselves or families of veterans wow yeah that is remarkable that you have this much in here yeah it really is we have an amazing collection here and um, I'd say probably one of the best Air Force collections in the country mm. well thank you so much for letting us back into the secret vault I feel so privileged My to pleasure. be in here I'm like yeah. oh, nobody gets to come in here but <laughs> That's, That's right. Yeah, it is. Oh, it awards too and plaques that people have won over the years. Yes, absolutely. Wow. This is amazing. Okay, well, Erin, thank you for letting us into the vault. My pleasure. I feel so special. And uh, <laughs> so much more coming up from the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum. We're going to take a cruise outside on the hangar and check out some of the planes and talk about all the events coming up this summer. Welcome back. We are taking a look now at the Lancaster 
It's a very special anniversary here, Al. Talk to me about it. Absolutely. It's the uh, Royal Canadian Air Force's 100th anniversary. Wow. And as you can see, we have uh, we have a, a logo on the tail of our Lancaster to commemorate that and several of our other aircraft. Well. That's amazing. You've got a lot of events going on surrounding it as well, lot, don't you? A lot of events this summer. Uh, starting actually this weekend, we're taking the Lancaster and several other aircraft to the uh, Quinty International Air Show in mm, Trenton. That's cool. Absolutely. And, and what's going to be happening there? Well, it's going to be one of the biggest air shows uh, in commemoration of the uh, Royal Canadian Air Force's hundreds this, wow. this weekend. Yeah. I'm wow. Sure. And hopefully the weather holds for them. Fingers crossed. Absolutely. But we're, <laughs> we're also doing something uh, that we haven't done in quite some time with the Lancaster. We're taking it on the road. On First the road? Time, on the road. In the air. On the road. Whatever you want to call wow. it. Wow. Uh, in the last, air, I guess. Yeah. Last, well, on like a road trip, but in yeah. the air. <laughs> last time we did this was 10 years ago when we took the Lancaster to the UK. <gasps> but it's been 14 years since we've taken it across Canada in the across US. Across Canada. So we're, we're doing that. Not all the way across Canada. Mm -hmm. We're heading out to uh, Winnipeg in July. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're also going to be going up to Cold Lake, Alberta to participate in a big air show. Wow. And then we're going to head down to the U.S. for a, an entire week wow. to Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And it's not the Oshkosh. So where? Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Oshkosh, Wisconsin. World's Wisconsin. biggest air show. It's if not you're where in, they make the overalls, if you, Yeah. <laughs> if you're an aviation fan, you're going to end up at Oshkosh at some time in your life. 100,000 people show up at this air show every day. Wow. And we're going to be one of the star attractions representing the Royal Canadian Air Force. I bet. And you guys are doing some local stuff, too, celebrating the anniversary, right? Absolutely. Uh, July 6th and 7th, we're having Air Force 100 weekend air show. It's not an air show, but it's the largest gathering of Royal Canadian Air Force type aircraft in Canada during the uh, 100th anniversary. And it's happening right here. Hamilton. Right, right here. Sixth and seventh. Absolutely. Okay, can people still get tickets? Tickets are available online at warplane.com. All right, we're going to have all that information up on our website at chch.com. So check that out for tickets. Thank you so much for having us, okay. Al. Well, thank you again for coming out. It is always a pleasure and such beautiful aircraft. I mean, it's a great day to love airplanes. Absolutely.